Stocks in Europe are mostly higher today, boosted by a raft of company trading results. Now, the update from the Federal Reserve yesterday, of course, fed into risk uh, appetite this morning, and it comes as we draw closer to the Bank of England's interest rate decision next week, Thursday, and also President Joe Biden's ambitious investment plan to Congress also lifted sentiment this morning. The FTSE and the CAC, they're both higher on the day, but um, the DAX in Germany is slightly down, which is basically full of um, the index itself is full of major exporters and companies that have a lot to do with reopening trade from the industrial side. So it's suffering slightly, but London's benchmark index back above the 7,000 point mark yet again today. Now, just a quick mention in um, worth mentioning today is the aviation industry. Uh, we had a warning from Airbus today. We had a loss from Lufthansa as well as from Heathrow. Now, the boss of Airbus warned that the crisis is not yet over for the aviation industry, and that's despite swinging to a profit of 362 million euros for the first quarter of the year. It was the company's third profitable quarter in a row and came ahead of analysts' estimates. Meanwhile, Lufthansa crashed to a 1.1 billion euro loss in the first quarter and revenue fell 60%. Now, the German airline also cut its capacity for the summer and that's amid a third wave of coronavirus across Europe and, of course, rising cases as well in India. It now expects to offer um, around 40% of its pre-pandemic capacity for this year. But that level is below, um, it said it's below the needed level to generate positive cash flow. And lastly, Heathrow, well, they also um, came to a loss again in their first quarter of the year. It was £2.4 billion lost thanks to the pandemic. And the airport similarly also warned that travel must restart soon.